kind of lost track of time, basically is what I'm saying. So I had no idea I posted on Carnation's birthday. And honestly, I'm going to say this to Carnation. If she's watching the video, she probably won't. But I apologize if you were offended by me posting on your birthday because you are an innocent child. And Hey y'all, it's Destiny, and I don't know if y'all know, but CJ Tumpool posted on his channel, and he actually did a video apologizing to Carnation. Now obviously I'm thinking, what did he do to Carnation? They don't even talk. They don't even speak. He was the one that actually gave the twins money so that they can give it to Carnation for her birthday. So CJ told us in his video that people were commenting and saying that it's wrong for him to post Kamari's video on Carnation's birthday and I guess that's why he felt like he needed to make this video. So if you're ready to hear what CJ has to say about him posting on Carnation's birthday, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you are new, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. Video because I know that a lot of y'all would consider it drama or dramatic, um, but it's something that I wanted to talk about. My daughter, Kamari, shout out to her. Her birthday is November the 6th. For those of you that did not know because I posted her video way earlier, um, it's always been November the 6th. But my daughter's birthday is in the middle of the week, which means she had to go to school. So today is the 5th. Hopefully y'all got out there and voted. Um, and she was out of school today. So the 5th, she didn't have no school, but tomorrow on the 6th, she's going right back to class. So I could not have her birthday party here in Las Vegas um, on her actual birthday. So what I do? I sent for her to come be in Las Vegas with me the weekend before her birthday. And I know a lot of you guys out there, you understand, but some of you just don't get it. So that's why I'm making this video. But for those of you that don't understand, if it was even me, an adult, and my birthday is on Wednesday, I'm gonna celebrate it the weekend before or the weekend after. But I'm not gonna celebrate it during the week because I'm gonna hit up my friends and they're gonna all have to go to work, right? Same thing. With so CJ is telling everybody that he had to do Kamari's birthday before her birthday because she has school. You know how he said she got suspended? Well, even though she was suspended, she went back to school after it was over. You know how some people leave school and then act like they're going to online school, even though they keep posting videos during the weekdays, going to the skate parks at like 10 a.m.? Hella early, so. And I told some people to pull up, but I don't think they pulling up, so it's gonna just be a solo stash, but yeah. Let's see. What we're gonna do today. But yeah, y'all, let me know if y'all be pulling up to the skate park hella early. I'm not gonna lie. It's really like 10 o'clock and I'm over here trying to get early session, you know? But yeah, I'm just going. See, those kids, it doesn't seem like they have school and they're in school. See, Kamari actually does do school, so of course she has to have her birthday during the weekend. Come on, all of her friends had to go to school. There was no way possible that they were all gonna be able to skip. So we planned her party before her birthday. And when I say planned, I mean like, it was kind of last minute because I did make the video saying she wasn't gonna be able to come. But then she made a video and I felt like her apology deserved some type of praise. So I was like, you know what? We gonna have a party for you, even though you got suspended. And my daughter got suspended. I think it was her first time getting suspended, but she always get detention. Even when she lived with me, she always got detention, but it was always for being late. What does that mean? That means that she's walking in the hallways, talking, lollygagging, just having a good time. And like I said on her birthday video, I know how hard it is to be a kid. Everyone looks at, her, at my kids and they say, oh, they're so bad, they so this, but we all was kids before and it's not easy, bro. We sometimes just get caught up and, and lose track of time. Maybe we talking to our friends about last period or about lunch hour and we just literally forgot that we had to be in class, but oh, how ghetto am I? I forgot to turn my phone on silent. Now, CJ may have a point here because Kamari cannot be the only child that's ever got in trouble at school. I mean, go through CJ's old videos on the CJ So Cool channel. You will see the other kids talking about how they got in trouble, they got dress coded. And even on the Life of the Royalty channel, you will see that one of her kids got into a fight. Police had to get her and put her in handcuffs. It was a whole big thing. So yes, kids do get in trouble in school. So I understand what he means. This is a fan. Subscribers call me still to this day because y'all know they got my number from the other side. And uh, I can't get away from her. But uh, I think that my daughter deserved to have a birthday party and that's why I did it. Her mom felt that maybe we should give her a little bit leniency because we already snapped on her. You know, I already had a talk with her before I sent her out to Vegas to have a party. And I felt like she understood that I was not playing this time. Even though I didn't have to whoop her, cut her hair, or embarrass her on camera, I felt like she was getting 
to an age where she can comprehend that we are her parents and we want what's best for her. So we threw her the party and it just so happened to fall on Carnation's birthday. I know a lot of people was irritated with me like, oh, you always being messy, why you post this on Carnation's birthday? I had no idea until I saw the comments. I'm not even joking. I just went out of town to Abu Dhabi. I was gone for a week. I came back jet lagged. I got the twins, had them, gave them back, and then Kamari and her friends came. So a lot of stuff was going Can somebody please explain to me why CJ needs to worry about Carnation's birthday? I mean, he already gave the child $40. Now that she get it, I don't know. But why does he need to be worried about when her birthday is? Why does CJ need to think in his mind, okay, make sure I don't post a video on Nation's birthday, on Jalea's birthday, on Leon's birthday, so now he can't post? Those kids have clearly said they don't care about CJ, they don't want anything to do with CJ. Okay, so why would Carnation be upset? going on in my life? Um, not working out because I'm so busy with the kids and jet lag, like I just said. I wasn't eating good. I was literally just barely eating. I get up, forget to eat till 5 p.m. because I gotta edit my own videos now. I'm not complaining. Please don't take this the wrong way. After coming back from Abu Dhabi, well, actually going to Abu Dhabi, before Abu Dhabi, man, I've been on the grind on So Cool World. Shout out to So Cool World. Hopefully you guys already subscribed. We have 55,000. But since I started So Cool World, I've been just working hard every day, working out, taking care of the kids, recording videos, editing videos, getting thumbnails made, coming up with good titles and descriptions and posting, right? So me staying so active, I didn't have enough energy to utilize my brain the way I normally do, which is like, okay, what is today? I just kind of lost track of time, basically is what I'm saying. So I had no idea I posted on Carnation's birthday. And honestly, I'm gonna say this to Carnation, if she's watching the video, she probably won't, but I apologize if you were offended by me posting on your birthday because you are an innocent child and you don't deserve to go through any negativity. So hopefully no one threw shade at you. Now it really seems like CJ is sincere and genuine with this apology. He doesn't want Carnation to feel bad about the situation, about him posting on her birthday. I get it. Maybe CJ is trying to get ahead of the drama before the drama starts and just telling everybody that he didn't post that on Nation's birthday to be a drama person. That's not what he was trying to do. But like I said before, if people don't like CJ, they're going to take everything that he does as being hateful and full of drama. So he can't please everybody. Or flex to like, oh, Samari's birthday was better. I don't hope that on you. I wish that it didn't happen that way, but Hey, I'm not the type to hold content. If I got a good video, I'm dropping that video, especially after I worked my butt off hours of editing and like just making sure it was polished and looked good for you guys. I had to drop it and I dropped it on the third, which is Carnation's birthday. Shout out to Lil Carnation, man. She's 13 now. I seen her on the Shade Room teens. She looked like a freaking 16 year old. Had her makeup done, had some heels on. I was like, dang, you know, kids are really growing up. Um, but it's weird that everybody say my kid is grown and she, she ain't had no makeup on. She ain't wear no heels. We ain't doing all that. But uh, I'm not sending shots either. Do what y'all do. Um, continue to be happy. Whatever it is y'all got going on, I'm proud of y'all. Um, of course, I'm upset that y'all mom just won't leave me alone and keep coming up with lies and trying to bring me down. But I won't let that affect me. Just like I hope you won't let any trolls affect you. Now, did y'all know that people were in CJ's comments telling him that Carnation wasn't wearing heels? They said she wasn't wearing heels. She was wearing boots. Okay. And the fact that CJ says that people are always saying Kamari is grown, I mean, yes, people are going to continue to say that because of what has been posted on this internet about Kamari. Yes, people are going to say that. But see, the problem is there's a double standard. See, people hold Kamari to a higher standard. She's the queen, she's the princess, like they hold her to a high standard. So everything that she does gets looked at through a magnifying glass. Now the other children, people don't hold them to a high standard. They can do and say whatever they want because nobody is expecting them to do better. You see what I'm saying? So of course people are going to expect Carnation to be out here in a short, short skirt and heels at 13, you know, the makeup, the eyelashes. Everybody's going to expect that of her because look at her mother. It makes sense. In my opinion, I definitely think Charlene wants her children to follow in her footsteps. And you can't fault her for that. That's just how she is. And I'm talking to Carnation right now. Y'all both 13. We all know how the story went. Y'all grew up loving each other. Y'all was best friends. Y'all was sisters. And now the adults in y'all's life have clashed and you guys aren't able to just, y'all ain't, y'all not able to be friends. So um, <clears throat> that was never in my intentions. 
actually growing up, watching them kids grow up, I actually wanted Carnation and Kamari to stay tethered together. I wanted them to be friends for a lifetime. And because, it, not because me and their mom, but because they were actually the same Zodiac sign, birthdays three days apart, they always acted alike, and they had the most fun together. So I just wanted my daughter, who is the only child when it comes to me, because me and her mom only have one kid. Even though she has a brother with her mom, and she has a brother and sister on my side, she's still considered the only child. She grew up alone, um, for the exception of her growing up with Carnation. And once Carnation was in her life, I saw the joy of her having a sibling, a sister, so. You know, I definitely have to agree with CJ on this one. I would have loved to see Kamari and Carnation still be friends, be able to talk on the phone, you know, have that connection. I think it would have been amazing. Now, in my opinion, I do feel like CJ and Nike would have been fine with Kamari being friends with Nation, but Charlene did not want Nation to be friends with Kamari. That's just how it was. So you have to look at it from Charlene's point of view. Every time she gets out of a relationship, she breaks up with everybody in that person's family. For example, Jamie, her first baby daddy. Her children are not allowed to contact anybody in that family. It's not just about keeping the children away from Jamie, their father. She's keeping them from everybody in that family. So it's the same thing with CJ and Charlene and Kamari and Nation. Charlene hates CJ now. She wants to ruin him. She's going to play with everything that he has, his money, his channel, everything that CJ has, Charlene's going to play with it, meaning his child. So people have to understand that Charlene would never allow Carnation to still be friends with Kamari because she broke up with that family. She's done with them. She doesn't care about Kamari. She doesn't care about CJ. That's just how she is. This is how she moves. So as much as we would have loved to see Kamari and Carnation still be friends and get to have that sister bond, it's not going to happen unless Carnation gets away from her mother and starts to make her own choices in life. One that she can call friend. And I like that for my daughter. I like that for Carnation. I like that for all of us. And I never thought that the day would come that I would be getting hated on for posting the video on November the 3rd, all because we don't associate with them anymore. So that's what this video is about. Um, anytime I see y'all in the comments and y'all feeling a certain type of way, if I feel like maybe I should explain, then I'm gonna do a video and nobody can stop me. And for those of you thinking, oh man, you ain't have to do this video, why you doing it? To each his own, man. You don't have to do what you do. You don't have to comment on my videos negativity, but sometimes y'all do, right? So I'm only here to make sure that it's very clear that there's no beef, that there was not any tension, and that it was not um, done on purpose to try to take light away from Carnation's birthday. Um, Kamari definitely didn't tell me, let's do this today. She didn't want to, it wasn't like that. We never thought about it. It just happened the way it did because of school. And that's what it is, man. So hopefully. You can tell in CJ's eyes and his demeanor, he truly cares about these children. Even though everything that has went on, he truly cares about Carnation and he cares about her feelings. He raised these children from very young, so I get it. But CJ has to remember what he's dealing with. He's dealing with a woman that can detach herself from anybody at any given time just because of her feelings. She doesn't feel deep love and concern for people like CJ does. It's just not in her. Once she's done with you, she's done. Now it's time to make your life terrible. Ruin it. Do everything she can to tear you down. It's just different family dynamics. When you guys are having fun on your birthday, actually your birthday's over, so the fun's probably over too, but hopefully the twins enjoyed it. Hopefully you got your gift from the twins because I don't know if you noticed or not, but I didn't have to give you anything. Um, but I did give CJ and Dad 20 each to give to you for your birthday from them, not from me. I'm taking that out. They piggyback when I get back. But, uh, yeah. Um, CJ and Dad, they love their brothers and sisters, so I'm never going to hate their brothers and sisters. Like, it's just a weird situation that I'm in where I had kids with a woman who literally hates my guts, and she already had kids, and now that we have kids together, our kids are automatically kin, their brother and sister. So it's like I used to say with Kamari and uh, CJ and Dad. Like, Kamari, you can't really hate the other people because somehow we're always going to be connected and when it's time to graduate i guarantee you it's going to be all these family members that no one can understand how we got together we gonna so it sounds like cj said that he told kamari that she can't hate the other side the other half of cordea and cj because that's family regardless but see the problem cj is you allow these people to talk bad about Kamari, treat her bad, get in her face. You know, you just allow these people over the years 
to think bad about her. CJ even said in a video some years ago that he was always having to defend Kamari to Charlene and her children when they were together. So for him to then say, oh, well, you can't hate them, Kamari. Well, what are you telling Char to the lean over there? Why weren't you making them respect your child as your child? You know what I mean? I definitely agree that nobody should be hating anybody. It's really not that deep. But when it comes to Chartelleen and when it comes to Kamari, I can understand why she would hate those people. CJ has been accused of essaying Jalea, but before it was CJ, it was Kamari. You have to validate Kamari's feelings and understand why she would feel that way. But that's just my opinion. We'll all be together celebrating these graduation dates, celebrating these prom dates or whatever it is that happens when kids get into high school. And I just don't want to feel like I got to be left out or or Kamari got to be left out or CJ and Dad got to be left out because I don't get along with the mom of the other family. Um, it's kind of hard to talk about them because I don't really want to say anything about them at all. Honestly, I didn't want to do this video because of what I'm going through right now. but. I know that what I'm going through will pass like it always does. I've been in a lot of things, like, you know, forget getting shot. I've always had drama revolve my name. And even though I don't like the drama, I just got to deflect it, and which turns out to me making a video with sometimes some of the words I say come off the wrong way, and then that turns into more drama. Y'all know how it is. I don't got to explain it to y'all, but I'm just in a happy place right now, and I just wanted to make sure that everyone knows that nothing I'm doing is, is coming from a negative place. That's why I'm making this video. I'm glad that CJ seems to be in a better place. I'm glad that Kamari was able to come out there and spend time with her dad, spend time with her Vegas friends. I love to see that. But yeah, in my Instagram comments, I've seen a lot of people, I don't know if they was trolling or they was actually just weirdos that's like trying to prey on little kids, which sucks because those are the allegations I'm facing right now. And then we got actual people that's doing it in public in front of everyone. And they're just living free. No one's lying on them or even telling the truth on them, I should say, calling the police on them. But I got people doing that to me. So yeah, that's just weird, but it's the world we live in, man. Most of the time, the innocent people, they get taken down for something they ain't do. And the guilty people, they just get to run around freely, right? So if you're in my conversation trying to hit on my 13 year old daughter, shame on you. You need God in your life and I advise you to go to church and pray about what you're doing because seriously, you don't, you don't even have to know how old my daughter is to know she's just a little kid. And that's awkward for you to be trying to hit on her in the comment section, so for sure. And I know y'all think she don't act like a kid, but honestly she does. 98% of the time she acts just like a kid. 2% of the time she catch an attitude I hope CJ blocks and deletes those people because over in Charlene's comments, people were calling Carnation sexy and Charlene was hearting those comments. So that's disgusting. And then we say, oh, you acting grown. But for the most part, when I say my daughter acting grown, I'm just playing because that's just how I talk. That's just how I am. And I've been saying it a long time, almost for years. Sometimes you guys take what I say the wrong way. And maybe I got to do an autistic test to see if I'm autistic because maybe sometimes I just let my autism take over and I just say anything. I'm not saying that it's verified that I'm autistic. I just thought I should say that because we going to find out. I'm going to do a test to see. And I'm going to make sure Kamari do the test too because she came for me. Why not? Uh now, in my opinion, I do not think CJ is autistic. I think he just hasn't learned to think before you speak. And sometimes when you think about what you want to say and your brain tells you not to say it, just don't. Everything that you think in your brain doesn't have to come out your mouth. So that's what I do. It's a mistake sometimes I open my mouth, but I have no filter. So whatever I think, I just say it before I even process my brain. My brain is faster than, you know, whatever. But I think that's CJ's problem. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Do you think CJ could be autistic? Um, but, but shout out to Carnation, shout out to Kamari, shout out to all the Scorpios out there in the world. Because I know it's a Scorpio world. It's a lot of Scorpios. Um, I don't know why. I think, oh, the Scorpios because Valentine's Day. If you do the math, from Valentine's Day to Scorpio season is where most of the babies are born thanks to Valentine's Day. So y'all actually do probably run the world. Y'all see what I mean? CJ just says anything, but that's what makes him who he is. That's what makes people gravitate towards him. He's funny, he's loud, he's all of that. This is just who CJ is. He's going to talk and he's going to tell you how he feels. Even though I'm Aries gang all day, you know, I definitely represent for the Aries. We some fire signs and, you know, we the first sign practically. So we started everything. 
but my daughter is a Scorpio, so it's all about her this month. And I want y'all to, in the comment section, if you understand where I'm coming from in this video, let it be known. If you don't understand, if you think this wasn't a sincere apology for posting on um, Carnation's birthday, if you think I actually tried to steal her clout, or whatever it is, just let it be known. I'm gonna read your comments like I always do. And if I feel like I need to make another video about it, then I will. But I think I said what I had to say, and I don't want to draw this video out any longer than it needs to. I definitely think it is a sincere apology. If you think about it, CJ was the one that went to drop off the twins that one time and he saw Carnation's shoes. I think they had holes in them or something was wrong with them. And he offered to get Carnation some shoes. And of course, you know, Julia, she made that whole video. We don't want shoes from you. We don't want nothing from you. But it wasn't even about Julia. It was about Carnation. CJ truly cares about those children. And he was still willing to do for those children, even though him and Charlene were not together. So yes, this is a man that still cares about those kids, even though he's not with the mom. Because he raised them, he loved them, he potty trained Carnation, he was there for Leon. Speaking of Leon, CJ did talk about him in this video, so watch this. Video about them again. Oh, before I forget, yes. I was editing the video and I remember seeing the little kids say, where's Leon? And I said, he in Lululemon. I was lying, of course, but I was shocked that the kid asked me that because that technically means he don't watch me. So since you trolling me, I'm trolling you. Um, but those of you that just so happen to stumble across my videos, no, I am not with them anymore. That means Leon, Nation, Jalea, all of them. I'm not with them anymore. I don't see them. I don't talk to them. I don't know what they doing, how they doing, where they live. I don't know anything about them. Um, so. If you ask me about them, I'm going to just throw you off. Simple as that. But I did see in the comment section somebody that apparently goes to school with Lil Leon. And they was like, CJ, I really rock with you. I know you're a good person. You got a good heart. But I need you to know that Leon be in school talking about he don't know why you keep bringing him up. He don't like you. He don't talk to you. He think you obsessed with him. I'm like, oh, wow. So, yeah, this is the last time y'all hear me say that boy name. Uh -uh, we wiping our nose with that. Loser! I'm just saying. But nah, uh, seriously, I should never have to talk about them again. And if they talk about me, I don't care. Don't tell me about it, please. Um, I just want y'all to know it's all love because I'm on a positive wave. Y'all saw me get baptized. Y'all. So that's what he said about Leon. Yes, he did tell somebody in the store that Leon was in Lululemon because somebody came up asking where he is. And of course, somebody got in CJ's comments and talked about all the stuff that Leon was saying about CJ behind his back, I guess. Now for Leon, I don't know. I think it's different. Julia definitely hates CJ, wants nothing to do with him. Wanted to get away from him for the longest time so she can be out here doing whatever she wants to do. That makes sense. But I do feel like Leon, maybe he just was saying stuff. Maybe it wasn't true. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, do you think Leon truly misses CJ? Or do you think that person in CJ's comments was right and he hates CJ and wants nothing to do with him? Maybe Leon is just hurt by everything that has happened this far and maybe he blames CJ for it. I know I'm walking in faith and not by sight. And when I talk to God, he just, he told me, man, clear it up. You don't want people thinking that you're going back to the old ways. Cause I'm not, I'm not trying to do no more drama content. I'm not trying to feed into it. Um, so hopefully this doesn't feed into it. Hopefully this just shuts it down. Um, once again, shout out to all the Scorpios out there. Shout out to Carnation. Hopefully you had a great birthday. Um, shout out to Kamari, man. Kamari is the, one of the best kids in the world. Y'all know she got that star power straight from me. God blessed us with the same DNA, and she acts just like me. So everything y'all see her doing, even though I'm a boy, I was the same way. I mean, I wasn't getting suspended. I told him I never got suspended. I was too cool for that. So that was pretty much CJ's video. He did apologize to Carnation. He talked about Kamari. It seems like he just wanted to get ahead of the drama and let people know that it wasn't his intention to post Kamari's birthday video on Nation's birthday just to be messy. He didn't mean to do that. But my opinion is that's CJ's channel, both of those. And if he wants to post on every single one of those children's birthdays, fun, amazing things, he can do it. But CJ does seem like a kind person and he really cares about those children and he doesn't want to intentionally hurt their feelings. So I get it. But let me know in the comment section, do you think CJ was being messy in this video? Was he being messy posting Kamari's birthday? on Nation's birthday. Would you like to see Kamari and Nation back together? Do you understand that it's just not in Charlene's nature to continue to be cool with somebody that she broke up with? 
It's pretty obvious that even though she breaks up with a person, she breaks up with their whole family. And I think she's only teaching her children what she knows and how she is. How is she supposed to teach her children better when this is what she knows? This is what she's always done. But let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one.